Hey guys, how are you all doing? Welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is okay. Thank you for spending your precious time with me. I am back with another tag video. This is actually a video I was tagged in quite a while ago by the lovely Anna McPoodle. I will put her stuff somewhere on the screen. Um, she is a great YouTuber and you should definitely go and check her out if you haven't already. And her tag was about what makeup you wore to school. I'm not sure if it was her who did it originally, she's just the person that tagged me in it. So I thought, okay, I'll do that. That's not too hard considering what makeup I did actually wear to school. Yeah. So if you want to find out a little bit more about me and about what makeup I wore when I was young, all you need to do is give me a thumbs up, hit that notification bell, subscribe to my channel, and of course, share this video so everyone can find out what a strange person I was when I was younger. All right, let's get into the video. I don't know if it's wrong to blame my mum, but I kind of blame my mum. Sorry, mum. <laughs> My mum wears makeup, but not very much, like not loads, not super often. Um, I don't think she ever sat me down and said, oh, this is how to apply foundation, or should we take you to the shops? Because it's never been something that she's that interested in, like she wears it just to you know, look a bit better, as we all do. But she's never been like loving it as much as I love it now. Anyway, I digress. So younger me basically looked like this. I swear I've looked the same my whole life. I'm Anglo-Caribbean. My dad is from Barbados, my mum is from the UK, and that created this lovely hair, which sometimes I adore and sometimes I don't. And when I was younger, I really didn't have any way of managing it, so what happened to it every single day is that it would be wetted, combed, plaited, and pinned onto the back of my head every day, and then I would just get varying levels of frizz around here. I do have some right now, and I'm not gonna make it worse because there's other things I want to record later. But you can you can get the you can get the idea right so the first thing that i started wearing was a lip balm and it was like a cherry lip balm but it was quite red you know one of the tinted ones so to replace it i'm going to use this bloom town red and berried lip balm with organic cocoa butter which is supposed to tint your lips as well not quite as much as i want uh find something else hold on it's not like it in fact this started in year six because we did a production of Bugsy Malone I think it was year six maybe year five but I think it was year six and I was one of the singer girls that sang at the beginning with other people because I can't sing so I need to be like blanked out <laughs> with a few other people when we were in the audience we had to sit there pretending to put on our makeup every now and again as if we were just watching the show when other people were singing on stage so I was constantly getting out this red thing and reapplying it and reapplying it thinking I was so grown up and glamorous I was probably just looking like an absolute clown thank goodness I don't have any pictures so that was my first foray into lip color then what did I do well I went around like this most of the time hot red faced never thinking about it and I sort of eventually moved into mascara and eyeliner when I went out I've used Maybelline for so long I can't even remember if I used to use anything else I'm recording this in between the adverts for Love Island so if you see me looking around that's why so this was my next step can you see the difference very very slightly you know just a layer why do you need to do more than one layer? Who needs more than that in their lives? So then I started using eyeliner and I'd be like, all in my waterline, you know how it is. It's funny now because I never really wore makeup to school, like the lips I would wear, but the rest of it I wouldn't wear. Maybe if it was like a party or something, maybe 14 onwards, I might start a bit of mascara or something. Why can someone have given me a good shake and said, do you know what? Having an even balanced out face from a bit of my um, foundation it's really good or doing your eyebrows it's really good especially when you've got faint eyebrows like mine I think I didn't really start wearing proper makeup until I was about 25 so that would be my my next phase if I was feeling particularly like I'm glamming up let's add a few more coats of mascara of course it's good to get it um, just above your eyeline my friend started wearing mascara on her top and uh, not mascara eyeliner on top and bottom and this must have been after I was 16 because I didn't really know how 
I didn't really know her till I was 16. Like, I knew who she was, but we weren't friends, so I didn't give her any advice. And like even for a long time, she was like, oh, you taught me how to do eyeliner. Because I said, I don't wish I could do eyeliner at you. She said, you taught me. And I said, did I? Because I don't remember wearing eyeliner. And I think what happened, I'd read in a magazine that basically if you draw your eyeliner on and use a cotton bud to wipe it off, because of course you get like bits of scar on your top lid. Just wipe that off with a bit of lick because that's what I did. So this thing that I got from a magazine, and do you remember all the good magazines? I used to love the, all the music magazines like Smash Hits, Top of the Pops, Live and Kicking, all of that kind of thing, SMTV Live, all the programs to the UK. I used to collect the download chart every week in Smash Hits and I have, have the little card book out and you put the little cards on to say which person was top of the charts that week. Loved it so much. So I don't know if you remember there was like, I don't know, was it like 17? There's quite a few magazines, I don't know, they're probably still around. And in one of them, I read this thing that you can just, if you just go wrong, you just wipe it off. Just lick a cotton bud and wipe it off until you got your desired whatever. Neatness, I guess. Realise they're not at all the same. But, so this was the next stage. How are we looking? Super cute. Really made a difference. Changed my world. Well, wait until you see the next step. So the next cool thing that I would do is I need to add some colour and I would normally go for like a purpley colour because I like it and I wouldn't use a brush, I'd just use my finger like this. It might not always be shiny, it could be a matte and for this I'm just using my ever so cool Technic palette because this just reminds me of the kind of thing I had when I was younger. Don't worry about getting it on top of the eyeliner, that's fine, you just smudge it all around. Probably it's good to get it right up to the um, eyebrow there, looking good. Oh, I forgot, it's been a little while since I've applied some lip stuff, better put another layer on. Yeah, because you don't want to miss it, do you? Got to stay moisturised. Not really sure if I did care if it went outside my lip line because I didn't use a mirror most of the time. I just ah, big circles like that. Mmm, looking good. So yeah, so now I've got my shiny purple eyeshadow on. Looking good. See so I get my wet eyeshadow and I just draw a single line as if it was eyeliner really. Just like that. And then after that, it'd be time for another layer of mascara. To be fair, my eyelashes did used to look longer than this. They've got shorter since I had eyelash extensions in and they got a bit damaged. But of course I didn't really understand about eyelashes or anything then. And this would be my look. Might not even have put the lip stuff on. Didn't do that all the time. Often went out with eyes but no lips. So take that off and it'll be just some lip gloss looking sexy right what did I do then ah yeah that is when this stuff came into play so a next look I used to enjoy would be to add some of these cream type colors so let's go in with I'm gonna use a cotton box and I'll stick my finger in there this sort of pinky color I'd just be like smearing it all over the lid now what I didn't really get about cream colours was that they transfer. Not all oh, these stink now. Not only do they transfer, but they crease and they clump and they get into places that they shouldn't get into and that you don't need to wear them all the way up to your eyebrow like and think that you've faded it out and blended it well. I'm not sure if I knew the word blend then, but I just knew that it was good to sort of fade it out like that. These absolutely stink. They're not cool. So yeah, that would be my next look. Are we looking hot now? And I wonder why all the boys didn't fancy me. How on earth did I get husband? I don't know. I don't know. Must have been my sparkling personality. Um, next, I need something else, see if I can find it. I'd never really got on with foundation because I had never found any that was my skin colour. Like winter skin colour, summer skin colour, I struggled the whole time until one day I was like, I'm gonna go and get matched. And 
go to YSL. Why did I go to YSL? Oh, because if somebody had recommended, I'd seen the um, Touche Clap thing, and I started using that under my eyes, but I kept getting flashback. I didn't know it was flashback at the time, but I noticed in photos I look funny. But I thought, oh, maybe if I go to Touche Clap, they'll be able to help me and get something else. So I got this, which I did use to large, love, Perfect Touch Radiance Foundation in the color six. This was so expensive for me at the time. I used it and liked it over time. One of the reasons I liked it is because it came with a brush applicator, which is probably disgusting now. This also needs to be decluttered. <laughs> um, but who knew it would come in handy for this video? So I guess I was about 23, maybe 22 when I first started using this. So this is like maybe 10 years old. But the problem is I stepped on it. And when you step on it and it wasn't clicked into place, loads of stuff would come out. So I can't really use the brush, but I can sort of dab it on. Oh, it's separated, it's got all oily. This has got to go in the bin. I so hope this isn't going to ruin my face now. I did use the brush until I gunked it up and then I sort of used my fingers. It's not really my skin colour, it's kind of this colour. It's not really my tan skin colour. I might have one that's my tan skin colour now, actually. It's the Lauder one that I got for my wedding. Although I'm sure that'll be out of date as well. Why do things get out of date so quick? So I didn't really go too much into my hairline and I didn't really go down my neck because why would you need to do that? If I was feeling super like I wanted to look good, the next step would be this. This is also from YSL. This had a nice taste, right? And this is called Creme de Blush. This is just super old as well. I mean, I used a fair bit. <laughs> I didn't know about primer, I didn't know about powder, I didn't know about setting makeup, I didn't know about anything. Did I have a brush for this? Do you know what, I did have a brush for this. Yes, I don't know where it is, but I did have a brush. So at least I'd moved on to getting a couple of brushes. I had a blusher brush, I had a couple of eyeshadow brushes, I think by this point. No, I didn't because I used the little things that came in the eye brush, you know, like the little soft cotton pad things. So I like to make sure my blush could be seen. I can't remember if I really was wearing lipstick. So that would be me. Nicely blushed. Get this one back out. But I'd also be one of those people who would apply at the beginning of the night and then not check my makeup throughout the whole rest of the night. So let's take it a bit off while I've been eating and drinking and it's a bit smeared. Yep, this is probably what I looked like for most of the night. Again, wondering why I wasn't pulling. How do they get out? Still don't. Still don't know. Still don't know. So what do we think? Has anybody noticed that I seem to have a severe lack of eyebrow going on? I think on occasions, I would get a friend to draw on my eyebrows. Or I'd get them dyed for a while and enjoy them being darker. But that only lasts like three or four days. So... Sometimes I'd go out with my friends and if I had darker eyebrows, they'd be like, wow, you know, this looks so much better. But it wouldn't be enough for me to think, why don't I just do that every day? Even when I go out now, even if I'm going out for the smallest thing, I'm like, I need to get some eyebrows on before I leave. Let's just think, what have I got for that? Oh, I know, I know. This isn't the original, but I had a fat, chubby pencil like this. Could have been bourgeois. So I'd use it a few times and then I wouldn't brush my eyebrows. So I don't know why I did that. Let's just put them back to however they were. And then I would just be like, putting the eyebrows in a bit. Not really understanding about strokes, not really getting shape. Just trying to make them look like a bit like they were there. It's quite hard when you've got a thick one that you haven't, that sounded dodgy. Um, especially if you don't use a pencil sharpener regularly, it makes it quite difficult to use. That would be pretty much my makeup. Um, and then I go out and spit it all off and that would be my night out. But I do think I look slightly better with this makeup on than I did before. So I guess it's better than nothing. But I've definitely learned a lesson. Not just since YouTube. I mean, I, I knew a bit more before then. So I did have some more things. But definitely since I started watching YouTube videos, I have learned so much stuff totally different understanding of makeup now and I can really appreciate the difference it makes like 
just elevates me to a different level and makes me feel so much better in myself. Like no matter what else is going on, you don't know that I'm wearing pajama shorts and I've just got a top on. And that's what helps me get through. When I'm feeling awful in my body and my head is not feeling great, but at least outwardly, I don't look as bad as I feel, do you know what I mean? And now I'm gonna take it off because I'm sure that this stuff is not doing anything good for my skin. <laughs> So thanks so much for watching this video, I hope it was entertaining for you and if anyone else would like to do the tag please let me know and link your videos down below or let me know you're going to do it so I can come and watch them. Don't forget to share this video around if you like a laugh at someone else's weird makeup. And until I see you next time, I hope you live every moment well and take care of yourselves. Bye guys!